Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, today, inshallah, we are going to talk about how to transfer an animation from a character to another. For example, here in this website, Mixamo, and this website uh, belong to uh, Adobe. You can create an account by using your uh, Google account or your, your email, and then you can find many free motion uh, mocaps or motion captures. You can use uh, uh, or transfer to your characters. You just need to select any one of them and then hit on download here to download the uh, animation. And today I'm going to explain how we can transfer an animation from a character to another. First of all, I downloaded two uh, animations, uh, two mockups from this that website, the Mix Amo. I'm going to start with the first one. Not open import. Tap cross. This is the first one. To transfer this animation to my character, first of all, I need to define this skeleton here inside the human eye cave. So now I'm selecting the skeleton. I need to click on create character definition but before that if i click on create character definition and then apply the human ik you can find the definition has some problems because of that it's better to work to fix the skeleton first so i can move the uh, transfer the animation accurately so I will hit Control Z. And before I start, I will break the connection to the all. I need to select hierarchy and then break the connection. Now also I'm going to select hierarchy to select all the bones and for the rotation, I will make all of them zero to make the character go back to the uh, T-Boss again. And now I can start defining the skeleton. To define this skeleton, here I have to define this skeleton inside the scene. I need to click here. I need to select human RK to identify the skeleton. And now we can see everything is green. Now I need to import the same file again to uh, add the animation. Before I will save it. Anyone? Okay, I will import now. Now, even if I have this uh, uh, yellow area, 
if I had them before I fixed the skeleton, I will face the I will face many problems when I when I transfer this animation to my character. But now because I uh, define the skeleton accurately first, I can transfer the this animation to my character accurately. Now if I play. Okay, let me import my character now. I have this character. To import an, an, an animation from a character to another, first, here at the character, I need to select my character. This one, this one refers to the this character. And here inside the source, I need to specify the character that I want to transfer the animation from, from it. Now we can see the animation is transferred. After I transfer the animation, here I need to bake the is here to my character so I can delete the uh, the reference I used. So I need to uh, click here. I need to go to bake. I can bake uh, or transfer the keys to the skeleton or to the uh, control rig. I'm going to move bake them to the control rig because usually we use the control rig for animation. But before inside this, the timeline, here the animation stops at 26. Uh, at 65, so I need to specify 65 because the bake uh, usually goes over the timeline. I can specify it inside the bake option, but I'm not going to do that. Here inside the bake, as I said, I'm going to bake to control rig. Here you can specify the timeline. You can adjust the uh, parameters here, but I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to hit a bake. Now, if I delete the, this original one, you can see I still have the animation available to my character. I'm going to save this. First, I mean, and then I will open the any, the any one. Now I will try to import another motion capture or mocap. Thoughtful head shake. Now I'm going to uh, import the character again, the main, the character I'm planning to use to transfer this animation to. Here, as we did last time, I need to select my, this character. And in this, inside the source, I'm going to select the character one, which contains the animation of the mockups. Here, I need to specify the timeline 93. Now you can see I have the animation.
okay, I need to bake to transfer the keyframes from the uh, reference to the to my character. I'm going to bake them not to the skeleton, to the control rig. I'm going to hit bake. Now if I deleted the reference character. I will have the animation. I'm going to save it. Second animation. For this character now, I increase the timeline. For example, here, I'm going to to uh, mix the two animation or transfer the two animation I created inside one character or to transfer to one character. So here is Side file, I'm going to import the first animation, contain the other animation I used. Now, I have these keys and these keys. I'm going to select all the keys from here. And then with shift and click and drag, I'm going to copy all of them. Here, I'm going to select all the keys, the controllers here. I will click here. And then on right, right click, paste, paste. Now I have the two animation, two animations, two motion capture or motion or, or mockups inside one character. So now, for example, I can delete this one. I don't need it. And now you can see the Two animation are baked to one character without doing, without doing any animation. I just move two animations to this character. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.